Hey friends. Hey friends. I don't know. Hey friends. <sighs> hey friends. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kano, like Volcano without the Vol. And today we are doing a little mukbang on mainland Hawaiian barbecue. We are in Monterey and there's not that many, you know, good eats out here. So today, um, I went to our one and only or very local um, Hawaiian barbecue called Kiyoki's Hawaiian Barbecue in Marina. Um, today I got a mixed plate with mac salad, rice, chicken katsu, terry beef, a moko loco, and a side of Kahlua pork, and just some soda for y'all. Um, and I love this place. I I know the owner personally. It's so good, so delicious. I haven't had a chance to go to Hawaii yet and try their like authentic good food. But all my friends who are from there, um, you know, they like this place. So for my mocha locos, which is what I usually get, um, where's the local mocha? It's one of those two. It's crazy burgers, anyways. Um, but I get some set of eggs because you just get this delicious like. Oh girl, see, I wish I could just grab the camera and zoom in, but that's a lot of work. I ain't gonna do that. But it's just so good. You kind of just mix it together, a moco loco. It's just a uh, um, egg of your choice, fried egg of your choice, a hamburger patty, and at this place, it's homemade hamburger patty. He doesn't use one of those like circle ones like other Hawaiian barbecues do. And then um, just on a bed of rice. And all that good stuff. I'm so excited, dude. Oh, I cannot wait to eat this. So I usually just break the yolk and let it all just marinate together. And then just get a big spoonful of everything, alright? So first bite. I, I don't y'all see it. You don't, but let's go. Yeah, it's so good. His, like, hamburger patties are just so good. And you can tell, like, they're, like, homemade. Because they don't taste like those McDonald's ones or whatever ones. It's so delicious. I, like, die every time. And the extra saltiness from the... Soy sauce and the spiciness from the sriracha just really helps with the savoriness of the gravy. It's just like, it just all goes together so well. I like, when I, okay, so I used to work there. And when I worked there, they would be like, oh, you get 50% off your meals. So I was like, bet, let me just get uh, Moco Loco every single time. And I was a happy, happy freshman or sophomore in college. Mm, no. Okay. Ooh. And then we have Kahlua pork over here. And Kahlua pork is just like pulled pork, but not Texas y. <laughs> it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's just really yummy, sweet, savory, salty, like pulled pork that I love so much and I can never get enough of. Um, when I'm craving it, and that's why I got a whole extra side. You know what's extra, actually really funny? When I go out and, like, order this amount of food or a lot of food, they always give me, like, four forks or something, and I'm just like, you think I'm gonna share? You think I'm gonna not eat this by myself? That's cute. It's so delicious, dude. I'm dying. Oh my god. So here we have 
Um, usually with mixed plates and things of that sort, you either get mac salad or potato salad. Not a big fan of potato salad. I don't think anyone could ever change that. Um, and a side of rice. I, ooh, yeah. And then you get your choices of um, meats. Um, I don't know how they do it anywhere else. <laughs> but that's just what I've known and where I've been to. And so today I got the chicken katsu and the terry beef, which is what I usually get because chicken katsu, just so good. So, ooh. <coughs> ooh. Do y'all hear that? What does that sound like? And then, so we have katsu over here, chicken katsu, which is just a kind of flattened uh, fried crispy chicken, just um, with pinko bread or breadcrumbs instead. Um, super delicious. And then they have, um, at Kiyoki's, they have this katsu sauce that I'm pretty sure there are other places, other versions. But this is just so delicious. It's like um, barbecue ketchup almost. It's so delicious. I don't know how to describe it, but... I love it so much. I mean, can you tell I love this place? <laughs> Y'all, I haven't had this in so long. <laughs> so, I'm so sad. If I could eat this almost every day, I would. So what story time should I tell first? I don't know. Do y'all like story time? If you don't, let me know. And I'll, I'll just shut up and eat. But I also like telling stories because I like talking a lot. But, um, yeah. Let me... I'd like to, to tell about the stuff. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, hmm. I don't know. Where did I start? Jay, where did I start this story? Story about My history with Kyoki's corn mm -hmm. barbecue, or that I love Hawaii, but I've never been. And I want. One. Huh? The second one. You love Hawaii. So obviously, I love Hawaiian food. Um, this shit's so bomb to me. But also, um, I love Hawaii and the culture and its people a lot. Um, I don't know. I saw that a psycho. <laughs> but like, so I've done hula dancing, Tahitian dancing. I've been taught by people who've learned back on the island or who are from Halal's that are related to people on the island or have sister halals and sister or brother halals on the island and things of that sort. So I've just like really thankfully have been privileged enough to meet friends and have close friends and have experienced some of that on the mainland. Um, and so I've always wanted to, you know, obviously everybody wants to go to Hawaii, but like I've always really wanted to go there and go do local things, meet people, make more friends, make more connections, get to experience the culture, learn about it. And um, yeah, and I really, really want to. The things that I've never had the chance. Uh -oh. Wow, that 
I was a big bird. Anyways. I really wanted to, but I've never had the chance because I just didn't have money or didn't have time. Since I'm supposed to be graduating this year, I decided to finally buy myself a plane ticket to Hawaii. Literally, the night I press purchase or like, you know, buy, I was like hiking, crying, because I was like, it has been my dream, always been my dream to go to Hawaii, go visit, go visit my friends and my little over there, and like just really get to bask in that beautiful culture, you know? Um, and I was so excited. I was supposed to go in May of this year. It was going to be great. I already had plans to go visit, you know, the town, go visit the university, go to North Shore, go to, you know, all these other places, you know, finally get to try Matsumoto's, ah, and like all that fun, delicious, good stuff. And then this Corona shit happened. So, well, I like how I said Corona shit and then I touched my face. It's okay, I washed my hands, we're good. Um, and so, yeah, I'm kind of bummed out. I mean, right now it is April, so in theory, I still can go in May if things get better. But I don't think things are going to get better. I mean, hopefully they do, but right now I'm not keeping my hopes up just because, you know, what if I'm like, oh shit, it's going to happen, but then it really doesn't, you know? Like, I'm already preparing for the worst so that my hopes don't get up too much. But, you know, JK, not be loud. <laughs> and so yeah I'm I'm really hoping that in May things do calm down and things does get better not just for my trip but so like you know everyone else is safe and well um so hopefully in May it will be better but if not I would rather not risk myself getting sick and potentially getting other people sick um, especially on the island. I'm trying to respect the people and the culture so much and, you know, what they really, um, like the things they're fighting against and things they're fighting for. So I know there's lots of, like, activism against having, um, tourists come and visit during this time, during the pandemic and things of that sort. I mean, in general. But, um, more than usual right now, they're even having protests at airports and things. And I want to respect that. I want to support them. I want to be an ally. So, with that, I know that if my trip does get cancelled, I'm fine with it. Um, also, I got insurance on my flight, so it's okay. But, so, I really want to visit Hawaii one day. I really want to try their authentic Hawaiian food. I mean, this... This place is pretty authentic, I would like to say, just because the person who um, owns the place and cooks, um, his name is George, and he lived in Hawaii most of his life. I'm pretty sure he was born there as well, so he's like, he's pretty much a local, so he lived there majority of his life. Um, but yes, um, yeah. Oh, y'all, so good. Oh. I don't think I can finish all of this. I hope I don't. What if my fat ass does? Mm. Yeah, I haven't tried the teriyaki beef yet, but I love the cherry beef over here. Oh, y'all. I'm getting so full. I'm so tired. My sleep schedule has been so off with the quarantine. Like, my 12 o'clock in the afternoon is now like 6. You know, so. Fun struggles. It was delicious but like I was saying um, I have a long history with this um, company store um, cute little restaurant it's a, it's such a cute restaurant y'all um, and I've I've been with them for a long time or not been with them but I've been going to them 
for such a long time and I've like seen when they first started there I've seen it when they like initially had and it's like a really small it like can only fit about four five six seven eight eight people in their max and probably nine if they really wanted to but I remember when like the design used to be different when they first opened their original banner you know and things of that sort and their original menu and it's so much so much of their growth and change and I'm like just so happy for them and it's so good but um yeah I've known them for a long time I know the owner personally I have his number he knows my name I go to the back of the kitchen sometimes not during the pandemic but like usually just to like say hi and like do a quick catch up while I get my food you know so really nice people you know, get that aloha vibe or whatever. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. I bet you can got some um, with the sauce. So the way I know George is that um, part of the Asian Pacific Islander Club I'm in association, I am in at my college. One of our bonding experiences was going to Kiyoki's and um, after our general meeting or after our dance practice and going to go eat there together and grab some shaved ice and just talking and socializing and you know being friendly and Usually when we go, it was really slow, so George would be able to come out, talk to us, chill with us. And when we get shaved ice, he used to do it in front of us because he had the shaved ice machine inside the lobby area or the seating area just for, like, show and stuff. So we always got to talk to him. He was really friendly, and that was six years ago. And after that, I worked for him a little. I did some dancing on the corner and some sign spinning, you know. I was checking it out there. That's actually how my best friend saw me first. She, uh, before we were best friends and got to know each other, and knew each other, um, she was like, oh my God, I think I remember seeing you dance out there like two years ago. I was like, that's how you know we're meant to be. Um, but yeah, so. Um, yeah, I worked for them for probably a year to less than a year, maybe a year and a half. Um, and so it was just great. It was just like, I got some discounted meals, sometimes free meals. I got to hang out with them, get to know them more. Um, and I got to dance, which is something I love doing. So I just danced, played my own music, just, you know, wore an Aloha shirt, had the sign out, was just dancing for them. It was super fun. Um, and then, after that, I got a different job, and I stopped going to them, which is fine. You know, that's just how things are. But, you know, always had close connections with them, always stayed their friend, uh, things of that sort. So it was always, always great and lots of fun. Mm. Oh, I feel like I'm just getting rice on rice, but I need to eat everything. Oh. Ah. But yeah, so, uh, I don't know, I love Hawaiian food. Mmm. Uh -huh. This mocha loco is in front of me too much. I'm like, eating it all. I need to oh, do everything. So happy. I'm like literally a happy person right now.
it's so weird to me though because I love teriyaki beef and teriyaki chicken from Hawaiian barbecues and like other places like other Hawaiian barbecues too just not this place but I hate like teriyaki sauce and teriyaki bowls and like teriyaki madness and all that and to me it's just so disgusting like there's teriyaki noodles with teriyaki meat and stuff I'm just like this tastes weird um, so I don't know what it is about Hawaiian terry, terry beef and terry chicken, but it's like MVP is so much better, you know? But yeah, um, if you're watching, <laughs> um, comment below what your favorite Hawaiian dish is. I know there's a lot out there and I know that, and I know that there's a lot that I haven't mentioned or that aren't really known of so you know let me know what you think is good and even if there's a place on the island if I ever get to visit I will be visiting Oahu um, let me know you know what's your favorite Hawaiian dish and where we can find like the best local eats on Hawaii because when I visit best believe I'm gonna go try that shit because I'm so excited Oh, I'm so fucking excited to go, y'all. Like, right now, I have, it's a seven-day trip for me, but, you know, after graduation and the pandemic, I think I deserve more than just a week. So I think I'm gonna go for a long time. I think I might go for, like, a week and a half <laughs> or two. Because, girl, you gotta get Airbnb, all that stuff. Obviously, I can stay at my friend's place, but I don't want to impose. But also... It's just gonna, oh, I'm just so excited, you know? Like, and I know no matter what happens, I will not be disappointed because either way, I get to see some of my friends that I haven't seen in a while. Like, Adrian, who just left me, Hunter, my little, Sky, because she left us early too, you know? You know, Sienna and Kaiku, but. I see them right now, but I still love them. So it's gonna be lots of fun. I'm super excited. So let's just, oh gosh, y'all. Let's just keep the hopes high and like keep praying that this shit is over so I could go enjoy my time over there with my friends and experience the culture, the local eats, and the, ooh, the sun and the warm water. And hopefully I get to meet my favorite animal, which is a tortoise and a sea turtle. Oh my god, I'm so excited, y'all. Oh, I always love Monko Loco Loco Monko whatever. It's like my go to favorite so good. Mm. Oh my gosh, y'all. I don't think I could do this. <laughs> okay everyone, thanks so much for watching. Um I hope you enjoyed it. Stay amazing and don't forget to love yourself. Bye! My outro, I, I don't know, I have been thinking about it, but I haven't. Because it, like, sounds corny and, like, a joke, but also it's not. I mean. Okay, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Stay amazing. And don't forget to lava yourself. I love it. Is that too, like, corny? I don't think so. I mean, But do you get it, lava? I do get it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me try it again. I'm not such a bitch. <laughs> Okay, everyone, thanks so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to stay amazing and to love it yourself. No, I don't get that. Yeah? Yeah, and the music at the end. Yes. Oh, wait, that's already a song. Wait, can you press stop recording? Oh. Yeah. Uh, you get some too now.